three centuries ago, the Spaniards and the Italians invented a knockabout form of entertainment called a street farce. It was performed out of doors, and if this looks like a clothesline, that's exactly what it is. Uh, a young playwright who won a national playwriting competition this year has written a modern version of a street farce, which you will now see with Enid Markey and Judith Evelyn and Jonathan Harris. And so there shall be no mistake about the kind of comedy he has written. He calls it, Let There Be Farce. the weather. Mrs. Beatty? A woman above, widow, husband killed in the first war, washes floors at Derrick. <laughs> uh, good weather for washing. Yeah, if we can get them dry before it rains. Paper says sunny all day. Yeah, well, I go by my legs, not the paper. Don't blame me. I can't trust them half the time anyway. Got much to hang? Another tub. You? Me too. Are you still mad at Mrs. Henderson? Is that her name? Don't let her worry you. And let everyone think I stole her garbage pail? That was an easy mistake. But I didn't need it. Well, you being a new neighbor, you know, folks moving in are short of things sometimes. Well, I would have brought it out repainted by now. Of course you would. I've been here three weeks. Oh, gee, how time flies. She doesn't have to accuse me. Don't let it bother you. Well, why shouldn't I? You're crazy, too, that's all. But it makes me so mad. I know you didn't do it. Oh, sure. Well, you trust me, but what about the others? Oh, well, if it's going to upset you that much, certain ones of us know for sure you didn't take it. How? Because we know who did. That's why. Oh, not his name, of course. Little sneak of a guy. What, you watched it go? Sneaking around the alley he was when I seen him. I was just about to let him have it. I thought at first he was for after taking mine. Then I seen he was picking up Henderson's. <laughs> she had a better looking one anyway. But I thought she was a friend of yours. Sure. And you didn't tell her? Uh, I see you've got a lot to learn in life yet, Gert. The first day you moved in, didn't she try borrowing nothing from you? Oh, no, I didn't answer the door. I was too busy. Oh, you were smarter than me. My first morning in, nine years ago, she borrows a quart of milk. Just run out, she says. That afternoon, it gets the quart back. A full quart, mind you, but in the same bottle. Yet she hadn't gone out to get another quart. Meantime, she baked a big cake. Watered half and half. Oh, fancy. <laughs> well, what did you do? Pinched half the cake when she put it out to cool. <laughs> Looked like kids had done it. <laughs> no, but it's them kind of things I mean, Gert. People will do you in every time if you ain't careful. Even Mrs. Angus. Mrs. Angus? Fourth floor rear, alcoholic son, poor thing. Beats her up nearly every Saturday night. Leads a very quiet life. Well, Angus says Hun Henderson done her in the same way. Of course, these things are just between the two of us. Oh, well, sure. Keeping one jump ahead of your fellow man may sound hard and coarse to a new neighbor like you, but it's the way you like her. Don't let nobody get away with nothing, I says. 
Not even your best friend. Well, I didn't take no chances with you, for instance. With me? Don't you remember Bar on Milk, too? Oh, that was the real cord I gave you back. Oh, well, if I don't know, you wouldn't try the same thing. Well, no one gets that chance no more. You didn't know it, but that quart was watered before you even got it. <laughs> no wonder my pancakes flop. Oh, but I know you ain't the kind to get mad easy. Oh, no, live and let live, that's me. That's the way to look at it. And I just forget all about Henderson and her pail. We know who done it, me and you. Yeah, well, thanks for telling me, Lou. I feel better already. Sure, I know how news like that can pick you up. Gee, it's plain to see that you ain't learned the secret of life yet. The secret? Getting what you want yourself and bother the others. My first taught me that. But the only thing he did teach me. Oh, that was Tuttle, eh? Yes. Spelled with an O. Oh. If you want anything bad enough, he used to say, you gotta go out and get it yourself. And by heaven, he did. Is that a new clue? Because you can learn those things from experience. I didn't believe it either then. I like it. We all gotta make mistakes. And I made mine with him. Oh, gee, that must have been an expensive one. No, he didn't cost much to keep in food in them days. No, no, I mean the slip. Oh, sheer nylon. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, you couldn't then, and you can't now. Can't what? Trust the soul. Oh, no. <laughs> Where did you get it? Downtown, last in the store. Nubby gave it to me yesterday out of the blue. Of course, I made his life miserable till he got it. You met my Nubby, eh? Woolworth? No, Connecticut. Of course, um, most people don't know that Nubby and me ain't, um... You're not... Oh, real genteel you are. I like that. Oh, no, it ain't flattery. If I'm nothing else, I'm a judge of character. <laughs> well, it sure is a beautiful flip. My first taught me that. Of course, we was married, Tuttle and me. I ain't seen one like that in years. Oh, but the others don't know won't hurt them. Learn to look after number one if you want to get on in this life, I say. You read your history books. They'll all tell you the same. Number one. You know, I always wanted a slip like that. Like the garbage pail, for instance. How much did it cost? Three dollars. What, the slip? Yeah. Three dollars. But who needs it more? Mrs. Henderson or that poor beggar that risked being caught to steal it? Why him, of course? Oh, what were you taking the chances for? Wouldn't you have done the same thing in his shoes? Done what? Taken the pail. Oh, no. Sure you would, if you wanted it bad enough. Fools is men that gets caught in this world, not them that succeeds. <laughs> they goes into politics. Sounds like the police are after someone now who's been taking what he wants. You haven't taken stuff, have you? Ah, well, are you in the depression? But what if someone takes from you? Just let them try. The credit's all there's if they can get away with it. But heaven help them if I catch them. I will take a smart one to put anything over on this one. Yeah, I'll bet. <laughs> so you like my sheer slip, huh? Hey? Well, it's nice, of course. They wash good nylon. Yeah. Um, I like sheer stuff, you know. Of course, it ain't seen, but everyone knows you've got it on underneath and can fill in what it looks like. <laughs> Nubby likes that. He says, imagine the pleasures are the best. <laughs> well, I gotta get my next tub full. Me too, soon. I'll put the tea on. Oh, is it your turn? You made it last Monday. Oh, that's right. I'll watch my things while I'm out, eh? Sure. I'll be right back. <laughs> All right. Please, lady, let me go. Oh, I started me no arm. I, I was just picking these things up to hand to you. They was dropping out of your basket onto the ground. Oh, 
you like. Oh, God help us, lady. That's all we can end you have there. Mm -hmm. Honest, I was just passing by that uh, call. Uh, police! Uh, no, no, please. Oh, what do you say the police want you wasn't stealing? Just strolling by. I was honest, waiting for a friend of mine. You were stealing. That's what you were. Oh, no. Ow! Yeah. What was you doing, then? Just waiting. Taking in a bit of air. Oh, please, lady, let go of my ear. Can't a person take in a bit of air? Yes, you was taking in clothes, too. Well, they was dropping. I couldn't help it. Did you want me to sit there and watch them drop into the dirt? Here, get up. Why? I'm going for the police. No, wait. I'll make a bargain. I heard you talking just now. What about? He was looking at that slip there. The frilly one. Can't afford one like that, can you? Well, what of it? I could get you one like that. But no police. But just like it? The exact same kind. Where? Oh, where you've been all your life. Come on, you want it, you know you do. Only a few left like that in the old city. Oh, you mean to stay? Uh, no, borrow it. Permanent. Sure, she said to herself, you heard her. You heard her. Didn't have to. It's what they all say in these neighborhoods. Oh, come on, she'll never miss it. Oh, yes, she would. Did the other one miss her garbage pail for long? She had a new one out yesterday. So? Shane. It was you. Why not? I needed it more than her. Equality is what this world needs, and I'm equaling things up a bit. Besides, I've got a good price for it. Come on. I'll get the slip for you. Yeah, but I'm supposed to be keeping my eye on her stuff. You can't watch her clothesline if something's boiling over on the stove, can you? Oh, but she'd know. She'd guess I'd done it. No, everyone knows there's thieves in the neighborhood. But even if I... Even if I got it, I wouldn't dare wear it. Why not? It's hidden under clothes, and it... How'd she ever know you got it? Oh, yes. And I could send it to the cleaners and have it dyed. Eh? Yes, that's... The way to talk. Mm. Get the jump on others before they get it on you. Take care of number one. Okay. No police. Yes, yes. How do I know you'll come back if I let you go? Oh, you can trust me. Yes, not likely. Why, that's a nice ring you got on there. What ring? Don't hide it. I've seen it. Oh. This thing? That's Thing. Oh, you wouldn't take my ring. Uh -huh. It's not worth nothing. Yes. Give it here. What for? Security. No. Just while you go about your business, and then I'll be sure you'll come back. No, I'm not going to start trusting people with my property. Besides, you've got to learn to show some confidence in the people working for you. I've got my pride, you know. Whoa, 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 right here. But you promised to give it back. It's going. You promise? Go.